what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a new product from FastCap that I'm really excited about. As you know, I love miter saws, especially DeWalt miter saws. FastCap has come up with a new fence to add on that solves a lot of problems that I've had over the years. Uh, I wanna show you some of the key features here. One of the important things we need as professional carpenters are fences that are tall enough to cut five and a quarter baseboard vertically or large crown molding. In the past, you've seen me with my auxiliary fences attached to the factory DeWalt fence. These are about a solid eighth inch thick aluminum that I add on to my existing fences. They're machine screwed here, so we fasten those on and they slide in fairly easily, but not great. There's a couple problems with these. One, just as you can see here, they don't go in real great. Um, they kind of bind up. Not a huge deal, but can be kind of annoying. The other thing is they're not notched out uh, the way I have these here to be used at a bevel. And whenever I want to use my stop block, I have to remove the fences because of the thickness. As you may know, it messes up my diagonal cuts when I'm doing mitered casing. With this new product from FastCap, we can eliminate this offset that we have here where the auxiliary fence rides in front of the factory fence. These new fences, if I can slide one in here for you, pop right into place. They're flush and they're an inch taller than the factory fences that you see from DeWalt right here. That's key again because we want to be able to cut our baseboard vertically like so. One of the things I was really first impressed with about these was the fact that they're completely plug and play. You're literally gonna pull them right out of the box and install them on the saw and they're ready to go. With these other fences, um, they just require more work to install. Even when they're pre-drilled to match your saw, you still have to take time to put them on. I love the fact that these are plug and play. Now one of the biggest advantages of these is that they have this built-in crown stop on the back here. And if you'll look, I've got these little pieces that are nested on the top of the saw. Whenever you don't wanna be cutting crown, they're just gonna stay right on the back there. They've got a set screw that's gonna hold them in place. But whenever you wanna cut some crown molding, you can slide these down into place, tighten the stop block, and you've got a positive stop right there. So let's say I'm installing some cabinets and I'm doing some crown molding and I want to cut some crown in the nested position. We're just gonna pop our blocks off, hold our crown in place, and then these slide down right into place. We can tighten that up. I'll come over here, do the same thing, pop it off, flip it over, drop it down, I'm making this look much more clumsy than it actually is, sorry. Get it where we want it, tighten that up. So now I've got a positive stop to hold my crown in the nested position. Now a lot of times whenever I'm cutting just a few pieces of crown, I will mark on my miter saw base a line that's gonna hold the crown at the correct pro projection so that I can just put the, the crown in place, I see my line and I make my cuts. That's decently accurate, but having a positive stop is just fast. It's kind of reassuring to know you're holding it right in the exact position that, that you want. For you guys who install a lot of cabinets, there's another big advantage to having a crown stop on your fence, and that is that you can still cut on the flat as well. So if I'm going between cutting crown molding in the nested position and cutting maybe some baseboard, I can switch to cutting on the flat here. My crown stops are still in place. I don't have to remove them. That's a key difference between having uh, a crown stop that goes across the front of your saw, which you've probably seen me do before, which would be held in place like this. So these, I know I was being a little bit clumsy with them earlier, but they're actually pretty easy to slide up and they really nest nicely on the backside of the saw there. I think that there's a lot of value for anybody who is installing cabinets 
If you're installing, you know, a lot of times I just have one room of crown molding that I'm installing at a time. I don't want to get out my crown stop from the van and install it. Being able to just flip these up, put them in place, and have that positive stop adds a lot of value. And there's nothing extra on the front of this saw that I'm messing with. There's nothing with crown stops that I'm messing with. It's all on the saw. These new fences add a lot of value to me uh, because I don't have an additional thickness of material built out across the front here. This is a little bit of an advanced concept, but a lot of you guys know that there's a pivot point at the center of the saw, and if you're using a stop block like I do to cut mitered casing, you have to always make sure that you're removing your auxiliary fences because this additional thickness throws off that pivot point. So a lot of you guys may not understand the concept of the pivot point used with a stop block and how these fences throw off that pivot point. But basically, if I leave on these, this thickness of auxiliary fence and I start cutting a bunch of mitered casing and forget that they are installed, I end up cutting a whole bunch of casing way too short and then I've, got, I've costed myself a lot of money I've been doing this long enough, not likely that I'm going to forget to take these off, but having employees, they might forget as they're learning. So to me, there's just a huge value in not having to ever worry about that and having these fences. Um, one mistake like that would easily pay for the cost of these fences. I love the fact that with these fences, I have the height that I need to cut baseboard vertically or large crown and I don't have to remove them in order to use my stop block because everything is nice and flush. They match the factory DeWalt fences perfectly. So I think this is a great value, incredible addition to the saw. I'm really looking forward to using these. So I'm extremely happy with the product. I, there are a couple cons that I wanted to mention. First off, um, initially, whenever I slid these in place, the right side here slid in perfectly, fit like a glove. However, on this left side, whenever I went to slide it in place, it would bind up um, before it about the, hit the last about three inches that it needed to go in. It just would not go in. All I had to do is I just took my sander and sanded this back edge just a little bit and that removed whatever friction was binding it up there. Um, and now it works perfectly fine. But I did wanna mention that. The other thing I did wanna mention was price. These are a little bit salty. Um, right now, they're over 150 bucks to buy these auxiliary fences. To me, I use a miter saw every day, all day long. Anything that adds value to my saw the expense doesn't matter a whole lot to me because I, it's just used so much. Um, I spend a lot of time taking these other auxiliary fences on and off, um, and there's time involved in installing these aluminum auxiliary fences. The fact that I can just plug and play these fences adds value, it saves time, and if you look at the fit and finish on these, they are machined at a very high level, and you can see you're getting a very high quality product. Whenever I first purchased these, um, my first set I bought for 30 bucks whenever they started making these. Uh, the second set was 40 some dollars. My third set I looked back was 70 some dollars. Right now these are listed at 130 bucks um, to purchase just this plate of aluminum for both sides of the saw. So these have gotten very expensive. If I was to choose between $130 for these just plate of aluminum and these higher end factory milled DeWalt fences with the crown stop, hands down, this is a better value. So it kind of depends a little bit about what you compare them to. To me, to do professional work, you need to have a higher auxiliary fence of some kind that gives you that height that you need. So I'm gonna spend money on something regardless. I might as well get the best thing out there, which right now I think are these crown stop fences by FastCap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Great new product. I'm really excited about it, excited to use it. A Little bit salty, but man, they just look great on the saw. They fit great 
and hats off to FastCap for making products like this, bringing kind of these niche products to higher end professionals. I love the company, I love what they do, and I think they've knocked this one out of the park. Thank you.